Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, guys, I got some exciting news for you guys because Bitcoin is pumping even more today. We saw Bitcoin yesterday pumping, okay, out of nowhere, okay? Bitcoin was in fact, you know, at $20,000 and then literally just yesterday, right, in a matter of hours, we saw Bitcoin pump to twenty. Uh, $22,000. Okay, it was at $20,000 and then it went all the way up to $22,000. And then literally guys, early this morning, we saw Bitcoin pump even more and now Bitcoin is currently at $24,300 guys. So Bitcoin is in fact continuing to pump up. This rally, okay, that we are in fact seeing for Bitcoin, okay, pumping back up to $25,000 potentially, right, is continuing. Okay, Bitcoin right now, okay, it's not too far away from touching $25,000. And I told you guys this many times that if, okay, if we do in fact see Bitcoin uh, touch $25,000, and I wouldn't be surprised, right, if we see Bitcoin touch, you know, $25,000 in a matter of the next few hours or maybe in the next, you know, few days, maybe, right, um, maybe tomorrow. Okay, but guys, this is my prediction. And, you know, I've been telling us this for a very long time, okay? You know, just about a couple of weeks ago, when we were in fact at twenty four thousand dollars, and you know, when Bitcoin was almost touching twenty five thousand dollars, okay, it wasn't quite touching it, okay. Um, I told you guys that I really do believe, okay, if we see Bitcoin, okay, if we do in fact see Bitcoin touch twenty five thousand dollars, okay, and it goes back up this, you know, it goes above this resistance line, okay, which is twenty five thousand dollars. Um, I really do believe Bitcoin has the potential to, you know, pump to $30,000 and it's been quite some time since we have seen Bitcoin at $30,000. The last time we seen Bitcoin um, at $30,000 was in May and June last year, right? So obviously it's been almost a year now since we've seen Bitcoin at 30K. So it's been quite some time, but I really do believe 100%. Okay, I really do believe if Bitcoin does in fact go above this resistance line above $25,000, we could potentially see Bitcoin go up and pump like crazy to $28,000 and $30,000 guys. And I feel like the support right now for Bitcoin is $20,000. Okay, it didn't fact create a new support, okay, for Bitcoin, which is $25,000, um, uh, sorry, $20,000. So, you know, if Bitcoin does, you know, if we do in fact see Bitcoin break down, okay, break back down again, okay, it, it crashes back down to, you know, $20,000 and, you know, it goes lower than 20K, right, then, Bitcoin is potentially going to go way lower, right? It's potentially going to go to $19,000 and $18,000, maybe even lower than that. But you guys can obviously clearly see for the past few hours, um, Bitcoin has just been pumping up, okay? And you know what's crazy, guys, okay, with all this? Bitcoin right now is pumping, okay? We know that, okay? It's at twenty over $24,000 right now. And, you know, the entire cryptocurrency market is pumping still, Okay. Um, not just Bitcoin is pumping, but other altcoins in the market are in fact continuing to pump up. You guys see the global crypto market cap right now is over 1 trillion. So, you know, about three days ago, we were actually, you know, below a trillion. Okay. Um, but now we are obviously above a trillion because, you know, everything is pretty much pumping in the crypto market. And today it's pumping 5.6% today. Okay. Which is absolutely amazing. I believe yesterday we saw it pump like, 8%, somewhere around there, over 8%, right? But you guys can see Bitcoin is continuing to pump. It's actually pumping way more than Ethereum, okay? Um, it's pumped up uh, 9%, right? Over 9% for the past 24 hours for Bitcoin. Uh, for Ethereum, it's almost at $1,700, which is great to see for Ethereum. And Ethereum today um, is pumping uh, pretty much 5%. And you guys can see other altcoins in the market are in fact pumping up as well, okay? You know, you guys can see a lot of altcoins like Dogecoin, Polygon, Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, okay, Shiba Inu, uh, Avalanche, Chainlink, Cosmos are in fact, you know, pumping today, okay? Continuing to pump and holding up pretty well, okay? Um, so that's obviously, you know, great to see. So this is crazy, guys, okay? We know right now that a lot of banks are in fact collapsing okay a lot of banks are in fact collapsing we know what happened with silvergate okay the crypto bank um they collapsed okay and just recently right um silicon valley bank okay 
um, they are in fact collapsing as well. And while these banks are in fact, you know, collapsing, shutting door, shutting their doors and whatnot, Bitcoin is pumping. Isn't that just crazy? Okay, a lot of banks right now are in fact, you know, you know, going down. Okay, um, it's not looking too good for the banks, right? It really isn't because they're shutting down and they're collapsing and whatnot. And in the other hand, Bitcoin is pumping, and not just Bitcoin, but the entire cryptocurrency market, guys. Doesn't that tell you guys something, right? Does that not tell you guys something? And I want to show you guys this, right? Look at this. JP Morgan, okay, Bank of America even, is dropping, but Bitcoin is pumping. I told you guys this in yesterday's video. I think people are now starting to realize where Bitcoin is heading and, you know, why Bitcoin was in fact created at the first place, right? It's because of this, okay? Bitcoin was created, guys, to pretty much store your i don't want to say like you know because bitcoin is really volatile guys but to pretty much store your money in a in a safe place and this is why i always tell you guys right i've been telling guys this many times that you know you should treat bitcoin like it's your own savings account like it's your own bank you know what i mean be your own bank guys when you're investing into bitcoin right and this is why i always tell you guys to keep your money in bitcoin instead of stable coins we know what happened with you know usdc in fact where is it now? Is it above a dollar? It's at 99 cents, pretty much at a dollar. Okay, so uh, USDC, okay, a couple of days ago, it, it did in fact uh, uh, depeg, okay? It was in fact depegging from a dollar. It went all the way down to like 88 cents, but now it's actually back above pretty much a dollar. So that's great to see for uh, USDC. And the reason why obviously USDC, um, the second largest stablecoin, uh, collapsed and um, depegged from a dollar is because, because of pretty much uh, Silicon Valley Bank, right? Uh, when they collapsed, obviously uh, that stablecoin collapsed as well, pretty much, right? It lost its peg to the dollar. So it's just crazy, guys, how all these banks right now, okay, are in fact going down, crashing, collapsing and whatnot, while Bitcoin is pumping. Like I said, this tells you guys something, that people are now realizing that Bitcoin is the way to go, right? To keep your money safe. I may sound crazy right now, but it's the truth, guys, right? It really is. I feel like a lot, a lot of, you know, banks nowadays are in fact collapsing and shutting down. And it's not just now. It's been happening like that for the past, you know, few years, right? A fair few banks have been shutting their doors, right? And whatnot, you know, freezing people's money, right? With Bitcoin, it that never happens. You know what I mean? That never happens. And this is what I always tell you guys to, you know, treat Bitcoin like it's your own bank, like it's your own. It's your own savings account. I remember, okay, almost a year now, I made a video, one entire video, okay? And I don't know where this video is, okay? I'll try to link it in the description down below um, if I remember while I'm uploading this video. But I remember specifically titling the video, you know, treat Bitcoin like your own savings account, like it's your own bank. And that was literally almost a year now, right? So I filmed that video sometime last year in 2022, right? And it's true, you know, the reason why Bitcoin was created, guys, okay, is because of this reason, right? To keep your money safe in some way, you know what I mean? Like, what's crazy is, you know, Bitcoin actually, you know, the white paper for Bitcoin came out around, I think, 2008, but Bitcoin itself actually, you know, got launched and released in 2009, right? Created in 2009, Okay, we know that. And what happened, guys, back then, right, in 2008? What happened? Okay, obviously, um, banks were, in fact, collapsing. The market was absolutely collapsing and whatnot. And that's when Bitcoin came out. Okay, so Bitcoin was created, okay, to be created for these types of reasons, guys. Okay, and I think the reason why Bitcoin is absolutely pumping right now, okay, even yesterday, right, we saw it pump like crazy. Even today, it's continuing, right? The reason why it's pumping guys is because I real like people realize that Bitcoin is the only way to go to keep your money safe from banks and whatnot, right? And that's why Bitcoin is in fact pumping. There's obviously a lot of buying going on right now. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's just personally what I think is happening right now with Bitcoin. Because why else is Bitcoin pumping? Like, you know, everything, you know, the banks are collapsing, but Bitcoin is pumping. Does that not tell you something, right? Does that not open your eyes and just tell you something? You know what I mean? Bitcoin is the future of money. I've been telling guys that many times. I've been telling guys that many times, you know. 
I feel like a lot of people are going to use Bitcoin as payment. A lot of major businesses and companies are going to start accepting Bitcoin as payment. Okay, we know a lot of people nowadays use, you know, credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, PayPal to pay for things. But I feel like Bitcoin and not just Bitcoin, but cryptocurrency in general is going to replace that. I feel like in the future, we will in fact see a lot more people, um, you know, use Bitcoin as payment. And of course, cryptocurrency in general, right? And a lot of major businesses and companies are going to start accepting Bitcoin and crypto as payment. And this is why, guys, I'm really bullish with Bitcoin and crypto, especially for the future, right? Because it's literally just digital money. And I really do believe in the future, a lot of things are going to be digital. I feel like a lot of people, you know, in the future, you know, a decade from now, are not going to use cash to pay for things. Because I feel like nowadays, a fair few people use cash, right? But mainly people use, you know, the debit cards and credit cards and whatnot to pay for things. So I feel like crypto is just going to replace all that, right? So... That's just my personal opinion. That's why I'm really bullish with Bitcoin and crypto. But guys, let me give you guys an update on what's happening with the Bitcoin monthly returns. So I gave you guys an update on this about two days ago. And that's when Bitcoin was, in fact, um, at $20,000 right around here. Okay, it wasn't really moving. Okay, Bitcoin was sort of stuck um, at $20,000. It was pretty much um, the support level. You guys can clearly see that, right? So... Um, about two days ago, I gave, gave you guys this an update and in March, we were actually down over 11%. I remember it was like 11.2%, right? We were down, okay? But now, since everything is pumping, since Bitcoin is pumping back up right now, and of course, the entire crypto market, now you guys can clearly see that in March, right? We have now pumped 5.3% so far this, this month in March, right? And like I said many times, usually March is not a great month, um, for Bitcoin, right? But you also see the previous years, the most pre um, recent previous years, last year in 2021, okay? You know, we saw Bitcoin um, have a decent month, right? Especially in 2013, look at that, 172%. That is absolutely crazy, okay? Bitcoin, um, just in March in 2013, pumped um, and had a return of 100 and over 172%, which is absolutely crazy. So, so far, okay, we are in fact in the greens, okay, for this month. And, you know, you asked to see January, we had a 40% return. February, okay, 0.03%. So it didn't move at all, but it still hold up. It held up pretty well, right? Um, so far, it's all greens, okay? So we're going to see what happens, right? We're going to see what happens, okay? But so far, Bitcoin is looking like it's going to break $25,000, Okay, and if it does, like I said, okay, if we do in fact see Bitcoin break $25,000, then we will 100% see Bitcoin pump all the way up to $30,000. That's just personally my prediction. Now, to end of this video, I want to quickly show you guys the Fingrid Index. Literally yesterday, we were literally in neutral. Now, we're in greed. We are now above 55. Okay, every time um, the Fingrid Index touches 55 or over, we are in fact in greed mode. So, it Right now it's at 56, so obviously we're in fact in greed mode. And you guys can clearly see, literally just two days ago, the 12th of March, we were literally at 33. We were in fear mode, okay? And just yesterday, right, we saw Bitcoin pump, obviously, like I said, okay, like I mentioned. Um, and it was in fact at 49. Today it's at 56, so it's pumping even more because Bitcoin is pumping up even more, right? So, like I said, Okay, we were in fact in greed. Okay, right now we are in fact in greed. Yesterday we were in fact in neutral, like I said. Last week we were in neutral and last month we were in neutral. So it's looking pretty good. You know what I mean? The thing greed index right now is looking pretty good. Okay, the historical values for it is looking pretty good. We see no fear, which is great because I feel like it's been a very long time um, since we've seen the thing grid index in neutral and greed, you know, because of last year in 2022, we know what happened, right? The thing grid index was just showing just extremely fearful and whatnot. Okay. And just fear, you know, it's been quite some time since we've seen it, um, you know, neutral and greed. So it's good to see things change up, but anyways, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end this video here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already, but this is absolutely crazy, guys. Okay, Bitcoin is pumping, and I think it's going to be pumping up to $25,000 potentially, right? And if it does, I feel like it's going to pump to, you know, $28,000 to twenty nine dollars to $30,000, 100%.
Okay, that's if it breaks this resistance line of 25k. Okay, so we're gonna see what happens. But guys, banks are collapsing, but Bitcoin is pumping. That's all I'm gonna say. That just tells you guys something, right? Why Bitcoin was created at the first place. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a best day, guys.